It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Wait, it means it's time for uh, more PBW vs ABW. And we it's the go-home show for Deck the Brawls, and we've got an absolutely stacked night for you. On this part of the card alone, we have two title matches, and a new match type as came up with by a friend of mine, one of my go-bookers in Dobby. But kicking off with this, um, this match between Amber Young and Poby Song. So it should be good. This is two debuting superstars from my fed, by the way, even though uh, Amber is in the premiere network, I believe, and Povey is a new beat CWL, but she's been there for like a month or so. I know her from Genesis, and I haven't caught up with Genesis in a long time. Now we have Amber Young. I will admit, I don't think I've ever seen her full ring gear, so I, uh, as a fan of the SPLX thing, looks really good. But yeah, we are here. Just a mere three days away. From Deck of the Rules. Which is a PBW specific pay-per-view. So... And here comes Povey, 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 Povey song. I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I like Povey song from what little I've seen of her. And she seems fun to talk to in the CWR Discord. And again, I apologize if I'm not calling moves correctly. I haven't bothered to learn. Still haven't bothered to, bothered to learn finishes and signatures, so. Yeah. Okay, first match of the go-home show. Let's go. Good start from Povey. I do like a good arm twist kick. Elbow drop. Belly pin. Just a one. Thank you. 
Bring it to the top. Oh! Oh. It looks like a heel bonked Poe's forehead, but that looked mostly painful for Amber, if anything. Good wheel kick there. God damn. Pervy is a lot more brutal than I thought she'd be. So far. Oh, the headbutts again. Good Northern Lights. Ooh, elbow. Elbow. And we're striking back. Bring a little bit of life now. Brain Buster. Let me first go for a weapon. Get some baseball bat. Nasty foot choke there. Ooh, Hangman's knee face buster thing. What a suplex. What a maneuver. One, two. It was a good punt by Amber, not enough to keep Hervey down. Ooh, that move has a name, but I forgot what it was. I think that's one of Amber's finishes. Ooh, baseball back to the stomach over and over. Oh, what was that one? Right to the head, though. Damn. And again, and again, Amber not wasting any time. That was a finisher. That might be it. One, two, three. No! After all that punishment, how the hell did Perfect kick out? Good neck breaker there from Puffy. Oh! Oh god! That gives him a chance to bonk now. Bonk! Bonk! Okay, getting to the top. Good axe handle. And look at the end. The spear. One, two, three. Povey Song gets the win. As you can see, she's knackered after the fact, though. That was a pretty brutal match for her.
simulate. Okay, there we go. So, never mind. Alright. Next up is attack match. <laughs> People might not even notice. Uh, next up is attack match is a race classic match between the Charm City Kings and the Sun Bitches. I mean, hopefully this will be a good one, because the tag matches in this game so far have, really, have been really awesome. Again, to anyone actually watching this on stream, I apologize for that weirdness that happened. I didn't know that was a thing. Although, I swear to, I swear to Christ, if any of the other matches change now, suddenly I'm going to be very mad. Anyway, on the left, Brandon Ace, on the right, Michael Carter. Charm City Kings. I know very little about them. They're just a tag team from Primero I picked up because I thought they looked cool. However, the other team needs little introduction. The Sun Bitches. Which I do sort of have to introduce and explain because this was originally Colin Prince, uh, then known as Colin Piper and Brett Willis. However, in the switch between games, Colin is now Colin Prince and uh, part of the Fabulous Furious Freaks, and Brett Willis doesn't exist anymore. So Bobby suggested the new Sun Bitches, consisting of the 13 and Wandero Ortiz. So now you know you're welcome. And knowing us all the battle, G.I. Joseph. Ooh, Brandon up with some good kicks on the one arrow. Early tag, in comes Michael, who is a very big lad. Good modification on the Fisherman's Buster. Fisherman's Suplex there, excuse me.
Burst burn from Michael. Ooh. Is Wandara gonna get the tag? Nope. Michael stops him. Oh, what a suplex. Michael just throwing Wandara around. Good sense on. Caught Brandon on the back. One, just one. Good kicks from Brandon. This strike game is mean, dude. And ripcord knee. Yeah. And this is a Razor Classic match, so understandable that both teams are trying to focus up here. Good punch from Michael. One, just one. Yeah, I just had a weird fucking thought. What if Caesar Stone, who is on ABW by the way, became the third member of Tron City Kings? I mean, probably wouldn't work. And I want to see what Caesar's capable of in a singles environment because, like, throughout most of year three, he was in a tactic. So. Well, yeah, most of year two and year three. One, two, just two. It was Brandon, CCK. Getting the tags in. Nice. Keep themselves fresh. Good moves. Ooh, missed the knee, I think. 13 didn't. Swing in hooks. Brandon caught him. I thought it was going to pin him off that. I was very worried he was going to pin him off that. Not that I don't want CCK to win, but I don't want them to win off of a basic move. Oh, what a tour of the islands there. Thirteen kicked out. Elbow drop. Oh, as he was getting. I love it when people elbow drop from that position. Always looks way more brutal. I call it the guillotine elbow drop. The 13 kicked out. I like how. Th I like how Carter got over one rope then climbed over the other when 13 kicked out. I kick. Drop kick. Drop or kick or. I really hope the the two matches to close out the AVW half actually kept their title implications, because if they haven't, I'm going to have to go back and change that, and that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, 
So 13 has been in this match a fucking lot. I think he needs to take in Pondera while he can. Got the wrist lock. A couple of lariats. It's hard to keep a man as big as Michael down. Butterfly, super, no, beautiful catch from 13. Power bomb. One, two. Flip there. Bondero actually looking to pick up speed for his team. Although Michael with a great catch there. And down to the arm. Down to the gut. Just tossing him around. This feels very one sided. I don't know if you have to miss on the moonsault. Good recovery. Poison Brana. Gave himself a low angle rock bottom. Probably a bad choice to second Michael. Michael thrown over the top. Oh, punched him. It looked like in the gooch, but hey, Extreme Rules is legal. Oh, scratched his back. And again. Poison Rana from Honero Ortiz. And Wandero, very confused about what he should do next. Went for a slap and somehow missed. Oh, oh, fake out with the super kick. First team being tagged in. Good Hyokin. I don't know what the point of that was. It doesn't reset a count because there isn't a count. Oh, face first. And it's not for a pair, but 13 counters. Big Lariat. Oh! Side of his head at the stairs there. I caught reverse STO. Two. Brandon breaks up the pin. Oh! He was sort of chasing Quantaro, but Burton had his attention on Brandon for a little bit there. It's 
go tag in Brandon. No, just taunting a lot. Montero grabbing the arm. Off the ropes with a good old arm drag. Working off Michael's arm something fierce now. Faked it at the rope, he was going to DDT. Pin. One. Two. No. Is Michael going to reach Brandon in time? No. Not quite. What's a fly? Oh my god, Juan Darren catches it this time. Searching getting in the way as Pantera has that submission locked in. Stopping Brandon from making up, but Michael escaped anyway. Dude, this match is rolling right now. He's in the ropes to check Wandero. What a suplex is 13. As the air raid crash and Brandon on the outside. Jackhammer. One, two, and oh, I think 13 broke it up. it again. Plants him. Thirteen. Not up to break it up that time. CCK win. That ending was a bit weird, but that was a really good match. Jump City Kicks win, move on in the Razor Classic. <laughs> Next up, Betty Fight versus Liza Hara. Not really anything on the line for this one, but might be a good match. My dog steps on a bee. Ukra's Bay fight. The Samoa Joe theme music. Fitting for her. Go 
Fiquei zoando, mano. Here comes Lazara. Goes to the Ray Ripley entrance and everything. Because literally everyone picks it now. <laughs> Nothing against it, but come on. You don't mess with Liza Horror, basically. She's a scary lady. So play. This is my brutality. Anyway, good inverted gut buster from Petty Fight. Oh, Swanton from that far away. Damn. Nice one, Liza. That was a good heel kick there. Stomps to the back. I can't be the only one who, like, also hates the women sounds in this game when they're hurt. It sounds a bit like really bad porn. Butterfly suplex. Butterfly suplex. And butterfly DDT. Good northern lights. <laughs> okay. Betty going to the top now. Missed. Betty not taking prisoners. Jab. And all the boxing, all the punches.
Veggie rolling outside. Oh, sledgehammer to the gut. Good high knee there. Both on the outside. Good Hurricane Rana there from Liza. Bunk. And there ever and over again with the ladder. <laughs> right to the back too. I like that ladders have been more useful in this game than they ever were in 2K19. And spring lariat. On me. That time it's just over now. Oh my god. What? sort of accidentally threw it in the air. Spider suplex. Ah, oh, Fisherman's brain buster. Crossface chicken wing. That's it with the win. Felt very one sided into the end there. Pretty brutal match for the most part, but yeah. Where to go, Betty? Pretty good win there for the old badass grandma. Game she, she saw, she whipped your ass. Next up is an Extrema Rules match, which is something that Dobby specifically requested. I literally got it made before I started airing. <laughs> so what it is, is it's falls count anywhere, and the only weapon they're allowed to use is stop signs. I actually go DM my booking council uh, really quick and let Dobby know.
There you go, I'll let him know. I don't know if he'll come and see it. And here comes Johnny G. Witness he. He has a sticker on his knee, knee, knee. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I love that one fan getting really excited, like, yeah, Johnny Gemini, yeah. Johnny hasn't had a lot of success since coming to AVW. <sighs> but uh, here they are. And here comes Casey Wars on with a kendo stick. Mate, you're only allowed to use top signs in this match. Here we are, the last non-title match of the night before the AEW title matches. And before the other non-title matches that were on PBW. But besides that... <laughs> Go back and forth between the two. Elbow. Punches. Kicks. Good kicks with a roll kick. And, uh, come and go, yay! Oh god, everyone has that. Punching back on the hand. Is Casey on the apron? What's he gonna do? Oh, spiky DDT. Hang on, I put stop signs in this match. I don't know, maybe the game decided to screw me. Let's just agree that Extreme Rules is just Extreme Rules before it's going to anywhere as well. I think that's fair. Okay, so there's the hammer. Oh, it's a nasty knee. Yeah. 
Gets him in the corner. It's a nightmare. Good kick. Good kick you. Oh, the knee from Johnny Germany. Water theory. One, two, three. Johnny put that one away quick. And we didn't even get to see a single stop sign, so on the off chance that Dobby's watching this, I'm sorry. I know control over that. I put stop signs in the match, but for some reason the match was like, nah, you're not allowed them. Like, I made it as though all the weapons were stop signs, I don't know why it went the way it did. Still Johnny G gets the victory. Ah, uh, quit. Okay, there we go. And... If I remember right, Betty won that one. And Johnny won that one. Okay. These are, okay, okay, good, 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 good. We're fine, we're fine. No need to panic. So way off the common event of the AVW half, and again through the magic of editing, you won't notice that there was some fuck ups on the way. If you're watching this on YouTube. Do you mean in terms of like ones you've designed? Because I mean it is pretty great. Although I've got fondness for the limitless title that you made, because that looks really, really cool. Here comes King Roddy. As we know, pimping is difficult. Man won the right to be in this match, and I would personally love to see him win it on the first try. As much as I love Nitro,
It would be cool to see Neva win the Limitless title and Sterry win the AVW Chaos title, although I think Sterry's on PVW. Um... No, Sterry is on AVW! Oh, I was wrong! Oh shit, that means I can't make the promise because I was gonna- I said I was gonna give him a match on the pay-per-view, but the pay-per-view is PVW specific. He'll get a match on the show back. <laughs> I'm holding off the most anticipated debut in my Fed's history with Sari. Through no fault of my own. Still there is Nitro. Apparently wearing a Chaos title. I like to imagine the promo package is just like someone saying Jacob Sterry is a good wrestler. And <laughs> tune in next week to find out more. Anyway, King Roddy, the pimp, and Jacob Nitro, the chimp. me. Jacob with a good early stock, no good elbow drop. Like the magic prime pack is just a clip of Jacob sleeping because he forgot to record it with the GM saying okay next week's the week. That's the reason why, like uh, in my universe, like Gavin Grayson, who is my commentary to character for CWL, is the GM of, of my EFED as well. Thank you for the burp uh, comments, uh, compliments. And, um, yeah, Gavin basically, he keeps trying to call Jacob, but he's just like, he's probably asleep. We'll try again next week. <laughs> but X handle. Jacob taking control. King Roddy going for a weapon. Is he going to get his pimp cane? No. Nitro not taking any shit. Dang. Too sweet! Bonk.
King Rider was really taking the bat to Nitro though. Good elbow from King. The Nitro boost. Two, Two three, damn it. It's not so much that I wanted Brody to win, but I wanted that match to go on a bit longer. Anyway, Nitro is still your champ. <laughs> See, I was going to make a joke, but I legit can't think of any other Jacobs in CWL that could do it. Besides Sterry. Here's, here's your joke. Why would Nitro try and clone and dethrone himself? That just won't make sense. Um, anyway, yeah, main event of AFW, you're talking Raimundo versus Ryan Quinn for the heavyweight championship, and I swear to Christ, Raimundo would better fucking win. Anyway, I, I just hope this match isn't a disappointment, even if Ryan retains. Um, this man's mic appears to not be working. Anyway, here comes the man known as Raimundo. The president, king, oligarch. Duke, Earl, Lord, Baron, Sire of Raimundonia. How should I refer to you as it is a Lord Duke Baronello, sir? Yours sincerely, Daniel Chelton, Dugby, Digby, Butler, Squire, my god, Jacob Rismog, your. No, 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 it's fine. He absolutely does deserve it. Like, he's legit the top three, in the top three best people I know from CWL. Like, he's up there. He's pretty cool. Um...
Yeah, fuck Ryan Quinn. Get one to the belt. Also, I thought my mic was broken. Turns out I accidentally muted my, um, my Twitch screen. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, Adam in the top three people I know in CWL. And he better, uh, Ray Mordeaux better win. Come on, Raimundo. See, part of me is really tempted to take control of Raimundo in the match and have him win that way. But I'm going to let the AI decide his fate. I, I'm not going to play God and interfere in this. That is not my role. Good blocking the strokes, Raimundo. A good heads is a... Breaker, Raimundo going in early. Going to the top. Oh, Jesus. Good elbow. Which COVID jab was it? Is there a new one that I haven't been made aware of? Because I got my last booster in February, so I think I should be fine. Although I, I do hope you're at least trying to recover well. Especially like with the concussion and stuff. I can't imagine that feels great because it probably doesn't. I would know, I've had a concussion before, it's not nice. It's not nice. Anyway, Ryan. Got a chair. The fans have wanted tables all night. No one's gotten one. Spiked his head. Double arm suplex. Bad idea from Remdo. Oh, face buster. Oh, wheel kick. Look at the spin the chair got there, dude. Oh, right a leg. Right a leg. Chair's starting to be bent out of shape now. Ooh, baseball bat. Bonk. Over and over. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. <laughs> Ryan going for that wheel kick. And someone else attempting like a swanton. 
from that position? I've never seen that. Brian counted there. Slap. Slap. Punch. Punch. Oh, ripcord knee. Buster. Yeah, Quinn is uh, d definitely being that right now. Is he going to roll back out to beat Raymond up a bit more? Because I'm not ready for that. Now throws him in the ring this time. Ooh, short range on that elbow. Oh no. Quinn shot. That's it. One, two, three. After so long of like trying to get to the main event, it wasn't even worth it, man. Ugh. Anyway, Ryan Quinn still your AEW Heavyweight Champion. And I'd, uh, I don't know how I feel about that exactly. I don't feel good about it.